The research on using a paper clay body for ceramics was done under the budget plan of the Department of Industrial Promotion in 2016. This research focuses on using paper fiber within the ceramic clay body in order to develop new products through creative design. This research is expected to benefit entrepreneurs who apply our results in creating art and handicraft ceramics. The research method is as follows. Step 1. Paper Fiber Preparation The paper is soaked until soft, then broken down into small pieces, after which the water is filtered out from the fibers. Step 2. Clay Body Preparation The stoneware body and the red clay body a mixing ratio of clay, 100 parts, to water, 45 parts, is used. Sodium silicate is added at not more than 0.5% to help the slip's workability. Then, the specific gravity is adjusted to approximately 1.78. Step 3. Paper Clay Preparation The paper fiber from step 1 and the clay slip from step 2 are mixed according to the ratio as shown in table 1. Both hand mixing or agitator mixing can be applied. Table 1. The blending ratio between clay slip and paper fiber. Step 4. Testing of the paper clay. A rounded plaster mold of 10 cm diameter and a 1 cm thickness is used to form test pieces. Step 5. The paper clay product forming process. The product is formed by free forming with a mixing ratio of local red clay or stoneware body to saw paper at a ratio of 100 to 60 percent or 100 to 40 percent. For tall or large shapes, coconut fiber at 20 percent as well as a wire frame are used to increase strength. The porcelain body products are decorated with yellow glaze, blue glaze, pink glaze, and brown glaze while firing is done at 1260 degrees centigrade. Strengths and weaknesses of paper clay body. In conclusion, all the specified mixing ratios can be applied for making ceramic products by hand forming techniques. However, depending on shapes and design, some things may be altered. Other fibers, such as coconut fiber, other plant fiber, or synthetic fibers can be used. Research findings indicate that the strengths of this technique are 1 the increase of strength, two, the improvement of binding force, three, a decrease of weight, four, the creation of interesting and unique textures.
However, there are some weaknesses, such as 1. It's not suitable for slip casting. 2. A long production time can create a bad smell with organic materials. 3. It may cause smoke during the beginning of the firing process. It is expected that these research results will be useful to some extent for ceramics entrepreneurs and others as well as being applied in terms of product design development in handicraft or art pieces in order to create added value in the products.